So I played Max Payne 3. A third person shooter game released way back in 2012 but still ahead of its time. In comparison to some modern titles. Late James McCaffrey voiced new character in Max Payne 3 as well. So it's awesome in terms of voice narration and character acting. The game was rated 9 by 10 by IGN, which is a pretty great score to be honest. The Rockstar Airpans game engine was used to design the game that still holds up in this regard. The game was released for Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 and later came on to other platforms such as Microsoft Windows. A game that has its roots deep into the classic original Max Payne games. Well, there is no Sam Lake as protagonist, but late James McCaffrey still has a voice for the character into the game. The game is still purely narrative-oriented game with all the superb action sequences and gore all along the way. The game features Rockstar's superb race engine, which was used to develop Grand Theft Auto games, especially the GTA 4 and the GTA 5. You can feel the game being similar in artwork and the gunplay being similar to the GTA series as well. If you are waiting for GTA 6 like I am, and it wouldn't hurt you to spend some time playing this classic Rockstar game. Well, if you haven't played the game, I urge you to someday buy the game and play it as it's really cheap on digital stores when it's on sale, like Steam and other Rockstar store. If you are into games made by Rockstar, then this gameplay video is definitely for you. The game into just packs wonderful action start to the game, introducing the popular bullet time right from the start. The game packs action right from the start to which it welcomes you to unfavorable certainty with mystery looming as the story proceeds forward. Gives you a strong Max Payne feel. If you have played Max Payne 1 and 2, you will observe that the original Max Payne is still the inspiration to these sequels. The story is absolutely brutal. There is no mercy for the enemies, also non-player characters, around the game. It's a single-player action game that has some very good animations, top-notch graphics, and a solid story around it. The game is very well lived, but also feels dark at times. As you progress around the story, you will see to it that it resembles some criminality with the real world. The crime hierarchy as you progress around the games becomes more vivid. The way every crime is organized inside gives us the creeps we expect to you. We get more insight to what being a detective feels like, how dark and gritty it is to be a private detective. We can assume from the narration and the story that the character is more mature and stronger in comparison to the previous Max Pen games. The locations and the environments are iconic and the gameplay is absolutely phenomenal. The creative director has really put some effort into making this game. As we can see that the game looks absolutely cinematic at times. I enjoyed every moment of this game and so will you. Especially the narrative driven audio that is etched really deep into the original gameplay. It feels relaxing to listen to the narrative while playing this action-packed game. There are a ton of guns in the game like the assault rifles, shotguns, sniper rifles, submachine guns, and rocket launchers that give you more leverage than the average gun game experience and hooks you into the game as the time moves on. You will definitely feel that the money invested into the game is giving you pure entertainment and is worth it. It's a big win for GTA 6, so why not try and make few games made by the same publisher studios and enjoy the product. As a gamer with good taste and a lot of play time experience, I totally recommend you Max Payne 3 with good intentions as the game is one of the best things Rockstar made while creating some amazing titles like the Red Dead Redemption series and the Grand Theft Auto series. And this is my thoughts on the game Max Payne 3. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. 
and uh, see you guys on the next video.